My office received the names of more than 300 citizens willing to step forward at a time of uncertainty and unrest and serve on the Ferguson Commission. Today, I am pleased to introduce 16 men and women who I have appointed to serve this region and our state as members of the Ferguson Commission. They bring to the table a rich diversity of life experience and points of views. They include business owners and not-for-profit leaders, teachers and lawyers, police officers and community activists, pastors and public servants. My charge to the commission is threefold. First, to conduct a wide-ranging in-depth study of the underlying issues brought to light by the events in Ferguson. Second, to tap the expertise needed to address the concerns identified by the Commission from poverty and education to governance and law enforcement. And third, to issue a report no later than September 15, 2015, containing specific practical recommendations for making this region a stronger, fairer place for everyone to live. 